Come on, cheer up. It might not ever happen. I feel stupid. You look fit. Oh, just knock on the door. Oh, come on, Kay. You're always moaning you never get a chance to get out of the house. Make the most of it. Hey. Wait, don't tell me you're Charlie's friend, right? Yeah, hi. Nice dress. Oh, my eyes are up here. So you're wearing that for me to look at your eyes? Oh, it's not my dress. Come in, it's freezing. Hey, uh, sorry to bother you, but I think you dropped this. What is it? It's my phone number. <laughs> Ouch, that was terrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Are you new to this too? A bit, yeah. It's okay, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> so, do you want to uh, grab a drink or are you currently enjoying the side show? Well, as much as I enjoy watching every stage of my friend's sex life, a drink's good. Spider-Man, good choice. Well, I thought so, but I was literally the only one there in the full gear. You know, the skin tight, ridiculous. <laughs> really? Yeah. Everyone else just took the opportunity to dress as vaguely superhero themed sluts. You can't label them sluts because of the way they dress. Okay, fine. Dress to get noticed. <laughs> Well, why do you dress like that? Like what? With everything on display. <laughs> Rude. Are you trying to get someone's attention? Has it worked? Are you? Um, I don't know. Not really. This is Sophie's dress. I wouldn't normally go for this sort of thing. No, I think it's stupid. You would have got my attention if you were wearing a bin liner. Because <laughs> I'd wear a bin liner to a party. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Where's Sophie? Though? What are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> what does it look like? Are you going to be long? She's going to stay all night. <laughs> you think you can go all night? So, what am I going to tell my parents? I look crazy if I walk home by myself. No, no, you guys carry on. I can walk around. There you go, sorted. Fine. Only if you're cool with that. Thanks. 2.24 light years away. I swear it's like. Two and a half million light years or something. <laughs> no, that's Andromeda, our nearest galaxy. I'm talking about Alpha Centauri, our nearest star. Look, don't try and have eat me on this stuff. <laughs> well, where is it then? What? Where is it, this neighbour of ours? <laughs> it's in the southern hemisphere. Oh, how well, convenient. Ooh, take me to South Africa and I'll show you. Maybe I will. <laughs> <laughs> or better yet, try Googling it. What, and prove you right? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. <laughs> well, uh, this is me. Thanks for walking me home. You didn't have to. I'm, uh, I'm sorry about earlier. What for? I'm trying to kiss you. Stupid. You're all right. See you later. See ya. This is a quiet hand over poison tongue. I need your loving voice feels my fragile It's gone seven thirty, you know I'm on morning shift today. Sorry. I've got to go. What time will you be back? About six ish. And Dad? He's out with Paul. You know what they're like. Bigger for your sister. Bye love. Bye. Apparently it's meant to be a compliment to a 14 year old. Wow, you look way older. 14, I should probably stop thinking what I'm thinking. 14, if the police could read my mind, I'd be arrested.
but what can you expect from a world that is driven by sexuality, that lets us in on the lives of those who use sex to demand their fame? A world in which our appearance is more important than our thoughts, where the image is more important than the message it contains. We have no hope in stopping women, men, boys, girls, children being the subject of sexual fantasy. If only we could shake off the obsession with our appearance, we might just look past the flesh and see what's, what's in our, our hearts. hearts. Deep stuff. Shut up, Soph. I showed you because I thought you might care. No wonder you're not getting laid and just bowing up to poetry like that all the time. There's more to life than dick, Sophie. You wouldn't be saying that if you were getting some. Mm -hmm. All right. What even happened on Friday? Nothing. Yeah, that's just it. Nothing happened. I take you to a party that you'd never normally be invited to, and you did nothing. That's bullshit, Sophie. You know I spoke to George. Great. So you spent the evening talking to some guy. You didn't even exchange numbers. You're always moaning. You never get a chance to go out because you're looking after your brother. And then I finally give you the chance to let your hair down and you do fuck all with it. It's embarrassing. Sod off, Soph. We're not the same. We don't have the same ambitions or aspirations. So don't compare me to your own self-defeating scale. <laughs> I was trying to help. Well, next time don't bother. Some friend you are. She's in a good mood. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. So, who's George? He's just some guy I met. And? And he's cute. And? And he found me on Facebook and we've been talking for the last couple of days. Why didn't you tell so? She wouldn't have flown off the handle like that. It's not a big deal and I don't want it to be a big deal. It's a pretty big deal, Kate. It's your first boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. What school does he go to? He doesn't go to school. He's finished. Um. Okay. Don't say anything. We're only talking online. It's not a big deal. Well, you seem happy. And that's not a bad thing. It's just nice to get a bit of attention. And he is cute. Let's see. Yeah, he's hot. Jack? Oh, great. What's up? Screwed it up on the third day. <laughs> like Jesus. What? The third day. Uh, never mind. What have you done now? Nothing. It's just I'll never get to see him. I have to look after my brother all the time. If he's worth it, he'll understand. I shouldn't look after my brother and stuff. I think it's amazing what you do for Toby. Suppose so. Never really thought about it. It's just routine. He is keen. Come on, Toby. You've got what? Two lines left? No, I am bored. So am I. You do it. I'm not doing your work for you. I've got nothing. Hello. Hi. You all right? I think George is waiting for me at the gate. Do we get to meet him? I suppose so. I see life like being on a road, a winding road of bends and turns, of steep hills and fast descents. Then every now and then you reach a crossroad, at which point you need to decide if this is your chance to make a choice, to make a change, to go straight on, or maybe take a turn to the left or right. The sensible thing would be to go straight ahead, put the blinkers on and don't give left or right a second thought. You know that path, you walk it every day, you know it's safe. But if life is as finite as it seems, then surely it isn't worth living without taking a left or right turn every now and then. Hey. You all right? Yeah, are you? I am now. <laughs> Do you want a lift then? 
Um, it's cool. We can walk home by ourselves. I feel bad. We can manage without you, I'm sure. I can give you all a lift if that helps. You don't have to do that. Oh, I insist. Come on. <laughs> You have no idea what I was talking about, do you? Sorry. What's his name then? Who? The person you're messaging. Snapchat. Okay, Snapchatting. It's no one. So you're obsessively messaging no one? It's nothing. I was your age once, you know. Mm, shut up, Mum. <laughs> so when do we get to meet him then? Please, just drop it. Well, just be careful, all right? Please, I really don't want to have this conversation with you right now. Okay, fine. Just remember, you're always here for me, yes, I know. Cast away from the mother stars, turn the chaotic world from the native star systems. Every part of everything and every person we have ever known is made in the heart of a star. Everything we ever were or ever will be is made of the same star stuff. We are all the result of randomly occurring cosmic accidents, freak events that put us in this place at this time. So what to do with the time that's given to you? What do you do with this life that you're given? How do you make sure you don't fuck it up? When your head is telling you to stop, but your heart is telling you to go? What's the matter with you? Just you? Yeah, they're staying behind for maths enhancement or something. Cool. And I thought it might be nice just the two of us. Yeah? And I'm sure Toby won't mind if I'm a little bit late. <laughs> you really are very beautiful. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Make me. How? I don't know. Use your imagination. Maybe I will. <laughs> I do love this place. Dad used to bring me all the time when I was younger. He was so determined I played football, but I was so crap at it. I think he was pretty pleased when he got a son. Are you trying to shut me up? I couldn't help myself. <laughs> what? I'm just happy. That a good thing? I suppose I'll have to get used to it. Yeah? Yeah. I'm taking you out on Friday. Where? Uh, leave that to me. But no, end of conversation. <laughs> Let's get you home. So I'm this predictable, am I? No, not predictable, just honest, I guess. It's not exactly a secret you like all this space stuff. I saw this was on, I thought you'd like it. Well, thank you. The what have you told your folks? What do you mean? With do they know you're with me? Have you told them about me? Uh, no. Good. I mean, they wouldn't understand anyway. They just worry. It's just easier if we don't tell them. No rush. I get it. I like it's our secret. Nothing else can get in the way then. Yeah. Cool. Do you like it? Yeah. I really need to get a job. No, you don't. Come on then, we don't want to miss the trains. What do you think? I'm not sure, what do you think? I've got a bad feeling about him. You do? Yeah, definitely. Don't you? I don't know, I think so. You know, of course, though, he's right about the 9000 series having a perfect operational record. They do. Unfortunately, that sounds a little like famous last words. I can't help myself. Just yeah. don't concentrate on the screen. Still, it was his idea to carry out the fairy moon analysis, wasn't it? Sex is an illusion. The be all and end all, the final frontier. But it's just biology, really. Chemicals surging through your body, your heartbeat racing. When it kicks in, it's hard to control. 
that's what it does. It takes control, becomes the only thing that matters. If he cares, he'll wait for you to be ready. Left or right, it's down to him. Stop, smile, he cares. Make sure you send a pic when you try it on. And then he fell over and hit his head against the wall. Why? I don't know. Jack's just a bit weird like that sometimes. Sounds like an idiot. <laughs> He's all right, really. Doesn't it bother you how immature they all are? Never really thought about it. I think you should. You're better than MK. Don't let them hold you back, yeah? I'm off. Dinner's in the oven. Just needs to be served. Can you just make sure Toby doesn't spend the whole evening watching TV? Kay? I'm not your slave. I beg your pardon. You heard me. She told me I don't appreciate her and then she stormed out. You don't deserve to be treated like that. You're not a child. You're the only one who treats me with any respect. No one understands me like you do. I asked for some money the other day to buy some credit and she told me that's what my pocket money's for. I don't get enough to buy credit every month and I hate the idea of not being able to talk to you. Why don't I buy you a new phone? I can just keep topping it up then. Really? That way we can always talk. I can't stand it either when you run out of credit. Until I get some Wi-Fi. Exactly. If we can't talk all day, it's not fair on us. It'll be fun. Like a secret back phone or something. Do you really mean it? Of course. Me and Jay were talking, and we thought it might be nice if we go out at some point. Us three and George. Like a double date? Yeah, if you want to call it that. I don't know. We were thinking bowling or something. Bowling? You know, with the pins, the knocking down, the strike. Yeah! I know what it is. Well, George isn't really into that sort of thing. I'm sorry, Your Highness. What is George into? Well, he likes to take me to nice restaurants and stuff. So that's a no. Yeah, it's a no. Sorry. Well, just stop trying to interfere. You sound like my mum. It's just bowling. We never get to see you properly anymore. Bowling? Why don't you try going out and having an intelligent conversation for once? You alright? No, not really. What's wrong? It's Jack and Ian. I might be sick. Is it the three year honeymoon period they're still on? They're so immature. Just because they've been together for whatever doesn't make them the authority on a relationship. And you think you're the authority? No, just George is a man, like a real man, and he treats me like a proper woman. Do you have any idea what you sound like? Enlighten me. You're like a walking cliche, swanning around with his stupid superior attitude. He's using you. No, he's not. He loves me. Has he said that? He doesn't need to, I can just tell. He buys me stuff, he cares for me. Buying you stuff? Is that what love is? We're in love, all right? You're not in love, Kay. You're in love with the idea of being in love. And he knows it. And if he hasn't already, he'll use you for You can't it. lecture me on love, Sophie. You're a slut. You're not even 16. You've slept with what? Five guys? Two on the same night. Maybe I have. But under my terms, Kay, I don't let them take control of my life. It's illegal. So sending naked pictures of yourself? No, it's not. It is, Kay. It's child pornography. Think about it. You take a picture of yourself naked, it's against the law, but... We do it because it makes us feel mature. We reduce ourselves to our flesh because it makes us feel grown up. Just because everyone does it doesn't make it okay. I'm not saying that, Kay. It's about self-respect. If you had any, you wouldn't let him buy you. You're just jealous. Kay, listen. No, I opened up to you because I thought you were my friend. I thought out of everyone you would understand. But clearly George is the only one that cares. See you around. Kay!
Where are you going? Out. Where? It's a school night. You know the rules. Just out. Well, you're not just anything. Tell me where you're going and I might even let you go. I'm going to George's. Oh, he has a name now, does he? Where does he live? Somewhere else. You're not going. I can go if I want. No, you can't. That isn't how it works. Okay, I'm not going to let you go running off to God knows where to meet some guy I have never met. Have you met his parents? No. Have you not been to his house before then? He doesn't live with his parents. How old is he? It doesn't matter. It matters to me. Age is just a number. Did he say that? I'm going. You're not going anywhere. You'll never understand me like he does. Okay, okay get back here now. Okay, stop. Okay. Floating alone in the vastness of space. An endless vacuum, no one else in sight. Just new life and transformations. My happy place, in my mind. I can be amongst the stars and it all makes sense. The clarity of our choices, the reality of our fate. It brings me comfort to know that considering the limitless reach of space and time, there is only really a finite amount of existence I can screw with. I think I'm really stupid. No. But I feel stupid coming over and offloading all my problems. I'm sorry. <sighs> Stop apologising. But I am sorry. Let me make it up to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. You're drunk. <laughs> and so are you. <laughs> it's one step at a time, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for this. I don't know why you couldn't have got the bus. There isn't one early enough. You've got to get back to Toby before school starts. You're pathetic. Look, I said I'm sorry, okay? After everything I've done for you. I didn't have to look after you last night, you know? I could have gone out with my mates. Look, thank you. I really do appreciate everything you do for me. You're going to have to make it up to me. What? Come on, you're not stupid. Me and your dad have been talking, and we think we've been unfair on you, holding you back. Mum. No, we have. It's not reasonable for us to expect you to revolve your life around our schedule. Oh, I don't mind. Well, we do. Your dad's going to speak to his line manager on Monday about going part-time, just until Toby's old enough. How does that sound? Is that what you want, Dad? I think it's best for everyone. It will give you the space you need to grow and, well, manage. You know, it might mean a few less trips to the pub with Paul, but I'll survive. I'm sorry. Last night was horrible. I don't want to lose you because of restrictions we're putting on your life. Thank you. We trust you, darling. Just one thing I do ask. Yeah. You talk to us if there's ever anything the matter. Yeah. How does that sound, Toby? Dad's going to be looking after you after school for a bit. Oh, cool. No. No? I'm sorry. You shouldn't come round here if you don't want the attention. It's not that. What's wrong then? It hurts. Well, it will if you don't relax. Have another drink. Then turn round.
Writing to advise is an example of what? I don't know. Our delicate little life suspended in a sunbeam, standing on a blue dot, floating around a star. Who is it? It's safe. What do you want? Desperately looking for love in others. I'll come to see if you're okay. I'm fine. You're not fine, Kay. You're anything but. When really, we should first try to learn to love ourselves. Talk to me, please. You wouldn't understand. Try me. Just go away, so... Love ourselves not for what we can be, but for who we really are. We must believe the ones who love us for our imperfections. Trust the ones who pick us up when we fall. Look to the ones who tell us the truth. The ones who remind us that no matter how hard it might seem, life is worth living for. We shut out the haters, the temporary fixers, the untrustworthy and the shallow. We look deep into ourselves and find the thing that makes us who we are. And we love those who love us for being just that. Drinking, fucking get it down, yeah, and loosen up. You're embarrassing yourself and me. Better? Come on, I've got a favour to ask. <laughs> It will be fine and you'll be really helping me out. <laughs> okay, I leave for sure. Thanks, babe.
Eventually, you find yourself a crossroad. But every way is blocked. There is no right, there is no left, there is no forward, and you can never go back. All you can do is hope that the ones who put the barriers up around you keep you safe. Or you somehow find the strength to break free and run. this house and everyone will know everything about what you've done. believe whatever truth they wish to see, so don't let control be your destiny. The ones who matter will see through the lies. Your safety is more important than your reputation. It fades over time anyway. Trust your head, look after your heart, and try to remember that at the end of the day, we are all miracles, and life is a chance worth living. Carl Sagan's pale blue dot. You see that tiny speck there? Yeah. That's her. Really? Yeah. Cool. Why did you bring it with you? It brings me hope. Hope? Doesn't it make you feel really small and unimportant? No, it makes me feel like I belong. Like I'm part of something much bigger than I can possibly understand. Every hardship dissipates when I look at that picture. At least you're still here to look at it, yeah? I guess I'm lucky it didn't work. I didn't... Stupid, really. I should have just taken more pills. I hate how much this is hurting you. How much it's still hurting you. Yeah, it hurts every time I close my eyes or stop or think or dream. And that's it for me for the rest of my life. It's not so much the thing that happened, it's everything that comes after. The physical pain subsides eventually, but the humiliation, the taking sides, it just eats away at you. So of course I tried to kill myself. He robbed me of every part of who I was. He took so much that I didn't know what was left. But more than that is knowing that he got what he wanted and he got away with it. He's been charged. You were there, you got a prison sentence and everything. So he's in prison? What's that, four and a half years? Yeah. What's gonna happen when he gets out? He's gonna find it pretty hard to get a job. Not one he'll be happy with anyway. He'll move on, get a wife, maybe have kids. God help them if he does. But my prison sentence won't end. For the rest of my life, I have to live with what happened to me. My life will move on, but the girl I never got to be is buried, trapped in the parts of my history that I don't dare bring up. So yeah, this picture does give me hope that in my suffering, I might learn to help others make the changes we need to protect our future so that at least our children's children can live a life of peace and happiness. How are you so 
Can I read you something? Sure. Look again at that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love. Everyone you know. Everyone you've ever heard of. Every human being who ever was lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, economic doctrines, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilizations, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there, on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. The Earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. Think of the endless cruelties visited by the inhabitants of one corner of this pixel on the scarcely distinguishable inhabitants of some other corner. How frequent their misunderstandings, how eager they are to hurt one another, how avid their hatreds. Our planet is a lonely speck in the great enveloping cosmic dark. In our obscurity, in all this vastness, there is no hint that help will come from elsewhere to save us from ourselves. The Earth is the only world known so far to harbour life. There is nowhere else, at least in the near future, to which our species could migrate. Like it or not, for the moment the Earth is where we make our stand. There is perhaps no better demonstration of the folly of human conceits than this distant image of our tiny world. To me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another, to preserve and cherish the pale blue dot, the only home we've ever known. Do you want a lift? No, thank you. Go on, jump in. It'll be fine. Just 